Hi guys, Borgio here, back with the Advanced Solo Guides. This is a quick heads up that this guide in particular is live commentary as I was playing through the game. So it's going to be a bit different to the, to the normal ones where I've completely planned out what I wanted to say. I had a rough idea, but the videos are just going to be as I played through the instance. Um, so bear with me. Um, all abilities are still explained and everything you need to do to get through these things. So sit back and enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to Kralit Penumbra, Rise to Power Advanced Solo, or as I like to call it, let's kill your merc as quickly as possible. So again, this is live comm, because I want to be playing the game rather than editing loads of videos, although I like editing videos, but yeah, you know what I mean. So the first thing you might want to do when you get in this place, back up, because these trash at the start are placed slightly too close and you are liable to get pooped by them. Now, the trash in here is the worst thing compared to the bosses, so... What you need to be aware of, they will do an attack, and I can't remember what it's called, but we'll check when we pull, which is a small knockback. It does 300k damage, which is fine for you, but not good for Stamper, who only has 700k health for me currently. I could equip the item which gives him more, but I won't. So anyway, let's pull them. So they're going to cast it, and you're going to see his health just plummet. Oh, except they are quite weak. Oh, wow, there you go. They're dead. They didn't do it. Um, be careful of pulls in here. This is the, the main thing. You can get some pretty big pulls, but all these guys want to cast this ability. We're going to get it here. I'm going to. I'm just going to run in and press insolence because I just want to kill some stuff off quickly. Here we go. So we're going to get there. There's the punt there. So I know you can't see a lot right now, but it's fine. Oh, I got my lore and legend update. Fantastic. First boss is in this room. This is a fairly quick instance again. Once you know what you're doing, as always with these instances, once you know what you're doing. Right. Let's see if I can see what that damage was called. Incoming damage. It is called cool. detonation. There you go. Detonation. So detonations are knocked back and hurt your merc. Does about 300k damage. So we're going to pull the trash um, separately just to get rid of them so we can just focus on what the boss does, which I believe on this first boss is just detonation. He just casts detonation constantly. Um, so tank him against a wall, put yourself wherever, blow him up. He hasn't got a lot of hit points, but let's give him, let's give him a minute to see what he does. So let's bow pull. And I'm going to stick myself over here. Right, so, oh, you can't see a lot, sorry. Viewpoint's rubbish, there we go. So we go, Dosvorth, Aether Protector. So, so far, all he's done is uh, detonation, and he's hitting me for mental damage. So, I've turned off my auto attack just to see if he's going to do anything else. He, it's not physical. This is all mental damage, the damage that's coming in, and it's only 60k a swing. So, that's, that's all about resist. There's detonation, knocking me back. And that's it, that's all he's going to do. So, just burn him down. This one's not overly difficult. I mean, if I'm... Killing this on a tank, uh, yeah, anybody can kill it. My, my DPS there on the tank, with my auto attack turned off, was one and a half million. So if you can do that, you're going to kill him that fast. So, you now have the choice of going left or right. I always go right first, it's just what I do. You're going to have a room with a boss in, but lots of these, these crazy squid people. Uh, Cthulhu monsters. Mind flayers, or whatever they're called in this. So we're going to kill them off. There we go. And now... The first of the squiddy bosses. Now, I'm going to leave that pack there. Because, yeah, here we go. So, he has hit me with Break, which has been cured by Stamper. But all you need to know is Break will, I think, turn off your auto attack. Will stop you being able to swing. But will also teleport you to a random spot. And half the time, it likes to uh, teleport you onto the platforms with these dudes if you haven't cleared them. So, my advice is clear them first before you pull the boss until you get geared and then do whatever. Now, most of this was auto attack. I just did 3 million DPS through auto attack. So, again, you're going to kill him super quick if you can. Uh, once you've got a bit of gear. It, obviously, gear is the big deciding factor here. We've got another boss the opposite side. It's exactly the same again. So, I'm just going to AoE to grab the trash through the wall. We'll kill the trash off and then we'll do the boss. I believe he's just exactly the same. Right, so we're just, I'm going to stick an arrow in him. There we go. Turn it on. Let's see what he does. It's all auto attack. This is where he's got a massive kickback or something. Let's turn, I'm just going to turn auto attack off now to let him do something. So far, he's just hit me for pierce damage. Doesn't seem like there's anything remotely exciting on this one, does there? So I think we'll finish him off. There we go. Uh, oh, and I, I always, I still checking the loot because I'm still, I'm still sort of gearing 
at the moment. But anyway, once you've killed those, you're heading up to the north. And again, it's another lovely pack of three. With And that's the, that's the detonate. I'm going to kill these. And then I'm going to go and AoE pull the next room. Obviously, don't AoE pull if you're not capable of it. Because uh, stacked detonates can event can and will kill you. Uh, I've obviously got 2.7 million hit points, and this is my, my offensive spec, so I've got more than that in tank spec. All right, so I'm just going to run in, and I'm going to press jibe. Uh, sorry, insolence. It used to be called insolent jibe. That's why I call it jibe. Let me go. So Stamper may die. I'm getting hit by a debuff right now called Asphyxiate, and it does percentage-based hit point damage. Um, because you're being choked. But it's fine. Just finish these off, and you're going to be at the lift. And there's only two bosses left. So what you do, stand on the lift. You don't need to pull everything. You just need to be careful because of the detonate. And what you want to do, turn around. The switch is this tiny little thin pole. Click that to take you to the first floor. Be aware of aggro as you come up. I always exit to the left because this is where the switch to get to the top floor is, just here. Now, if you look up, Zexon the listener. Uh, apparently, I cleared there's normally mobs here there's normally mobs all over this platform so i must have cleared them with jibe from down the bottom so let's let's pull him and let's give him give him a sec so here we go he's hit me with asphyxiate which has been cured by stamper really quickly while in stamper and there's detonate and that's it he just does uh oh he does the teleport as well break there you go random teleport interrupt and daze so you can't actually do much um just be aware it's all pot curable bring arcane pots if stamper wasn't so good at curing then i'd obviously pop cure it to demonstrate maybe i'll do the next one there's a detonate there's another detonate oh because we've got an extra pack oh good these are from up top i think these must be from up top from where i just got knocked up but as you can see look at stamper's health detonate is not fun uh that's a straight mm. hmm hmm yeah, go on. I'll take that one. I'll stick it on later, though. So, back onto the lift. And like I say, the switch for the lift is right next to it. So click the switch. I'll take you to the top and final floor, where the final boss actually has a few more things going for him. He is current. He is located up there. So pick a direction and run that way. I'm going to go this way. Big thing to be aware of is obviously the detonate on these platforms, because there's holes down each side, and it will knock you down and aggro stuff you haven't pulled yet, as it likes to do to me. But final boss, um, I, I deliberately am not pronouncing the names because I will butcher them, but it is Zax Carter, I would say. Let's give him a pull. So here we go. It's Fixie to start, which is, I was about to pop cure it, but Stamp has got it. He does a bunch of stuff. Distortion is reduces your weapon damage and stifles you, and it, every five seconds you'll do extreme damage to mana. So here we go. I pop cured it. And the next one is Break, the normal teleport. Which I can't pop here now, but that's fine. So let's just fight through him a bit. Because he start, he can stack these one after another. So pop curing isn't um, ideal, but it at least gets rid of one of them. All right, so let's push him down. Let's, I'm, I'm going to switch to offensive stance. Well, I was in defensive because I was farming some odd zones. Um, and it's nice to have your death saves up. So here's distortion again. Pop cured it. There we go. You can watch the Casper. I'm looking up on the Casper up here. So we've got Asphyxiate, which Stamp has cured straight away. And there's the verdict. And that's this zone, guys. The last boss is the only one remotely with anything interesting going on. Ooh, Black Anvil Strike. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, a belt as well. Oh, fantastic. That is the tank. That's the tank flurry belt. That's the good one. Perfect. And that's it, guys. Be careful on your way out because you anything you've left, you'll pull. If you're anything like me. As normal, if you like these videos, like, subscribe, tell your friends. I'm Borgio. I'll see you guys next time.